Hi students, I'm Sonia from Vidya Guru. Starting a new session on current affairs. This is going to be the second part for the month of March, March 2024 that you're going to watch just now. I'll be starting the session, but before starting, the session will remain in English medium throughout. If you are not comfortable with the English session, you can watch the Hindi session that is also there in the playlist. We record such sort of complete English medium sessions from our, for our students from South India, for our students from Northeast India. Like this, those students who are not very comfortable with Hindi, we record such sort of complete English medium sessions for them. If you can watch the session, if you can understand well, you can keep watching it. But primarily our motto is that the same session which is delivered in complete English medium is for our students from South India. First question on your screen now. As you can see, the topic is India in focus. So I've indirectly told you that we'll be delivering topic wise current affairs here. If you're new to the channel, India in focus is the title is the topic we are beginning with. We are actually saying why India in focus, because I'm going to discuss something which we are beginning with will actually let you know that India is actually in focus. How the 71st numbers Miss World competition was actually hosted by our country, India. And it actually happened in Mumbai. You need to know the precise location that is Mumbai for the reason because you'll be writing the exam. You are an Indian. You need to know the exact play, place where it was scheduled. I am saying Miss World competition happened for the 71st time. It was actually held here in India at Mumbai. The precise location is that the one who won the one who remained the runner-up and their countries too. Like the girl, Christina, the girl, Christina Zakova, she is from Czech Republic. She became the winner. She came out to be the Miss World and then the runner-up. The runner-up is from Lebanon. Her, her name is Yasmina Zaytun. You need to know both the names. See, it's such a minute detail that it was happening for the 71st time. Even that can be there in your exam, believe me. So I'll repeat all the things which were associated with one point. I have reduced my speed. So keep focusing on what I say. Miss World competition was happening for the 71st time here in India. That means India hosted it. Mumbai was the exact location. Christina Zaykova remained the winner. She is from Czech Republic. The runner-up was Yasmin, Yasmin uh, Zaytun, and she is from Lebanon. All these questions are quite significant. They are associated with one topic and I've discussed that. President Murmu conferred with something like conferred degree, conferred the degree of uh, doctorate. Yes, so doctor of uh, law. It was actually conferred by uh, University of Mauritius. So that is important, quite significant. Draupadi Murmu is the president of the country, if you are not aware. She got this degree from University of Mauritius. What degree am I actually talking about? That degree is degree of law, degree of doctor of civil law. That is what I should speak like. Degree of doctor of civil law. University of Mauritius conferred it. Fourth Shanghai Cooperation Organization Startup Forum held in New Delhi. I'll repeat. See, whatever is associated with Shanghai Cooperation Organization, whatever summit, whatever summit, whatever forums, meets, you know, do take place, you have to know about them. So fourth time it was happening. Startup, startup, startup. So it is important for you. Fourth numbers. Shanghai Cooperation Organization Startup Forum Startup Forum took place in New Delhi. The next question is India on World Happiness Report. So we are quite happy sort of people. As you can see, everybody is so happy in our country. 126th is the number of our country out of 143 nations. That's truly sad. The one who remained on top is not actually the one who's so, so sad, is one who's so, so happy. That is why Finland is on the top because it is the happiest nation. You must know that. If any index, any ranking or any report is there, you need to know at least three things every time. Not at least every time you need to know only this much. If you are reading a, an article, if you are reading a page, 
written everything there inside you just have to extract only three points one who prepares that index who prepares that ranking who prepares that who publishes it that means who is behind this ranking like human development index like happiness report who publishes it so happiness world happiness report is published by gallup oxford wellbeing research un sustainable development you need to know everything about them and gallup oxford wellbeing research is primarily everywhere when you type anything about world happiness report they'll show you gallup oxford wellbeing research gallup oxford wellbeing research so you'll be mainly finding that read it fully it is by gallup it is by gallup oxford wellbeing research un sustainable development that is what you have to learn who prepares it india is ranked 126th out of 143 nations who remain on top finland remain on top that is how you can retain and that is how you can learn by framing more points out of it the second number was of denmark that can also be asked that can also be asked but you need to know that these are such countries which remain on top in terms of happiness anyway let's revise all what we have studied in and focus miss world 2023 71st time it was taking place winner Kristina Zaykova Czech Republic Czech Republic Lebanon's Jasmina Zaytoun remained the runner up first runner up the place was Mumbai where it held President Murmu conferred with degree of Doctor of Civil Law by University of Mauritius fourth Shanghai Cooperation Organization startup forum meet uh, meet in uh, New Delhi India on World Happiness Report 126 number India's number first on uh, first one was Finland Second one was Denmark, and the most important thing is who prepares World Happiness Report. That is Gallup Oxford Wellbeing Research, UN Sustainable Development. Let's get going. See the next set of question is even going to be more significant for you guys. International news, and I'll be talking about everything which you need to know from the perspective of whichever exam you are writing. Believe me, if you are writing SSC exam, IBPS. SBI, CDS, Kendra Vidyalaya, D Triple S B exam, whichever exam you will be writing, you will be actually getting questions from here. You know that. See, the section is significant. If you are watching from some place, you can write it down in the comment section. I'll be glad to know. Like the students are, you know, in this part of the country are watching us. I'll be happy to know that. So please mention it in the comment section. International news, World Government Summit. You have never heard, you know, something of that sort. New type of question, but that's quite significant. You must know that. That is why I've written that. It is World Government Summit 2024 took place in Dubai and with the theme shaping future governments shaping future governments that was the aim I'll repeat World Government Summit 2024 took place in Dubai and I was saying that the theme was shaping future governments that was the theme they kept in mind the next question is human development index by united nations development program because that is what i told you is the most significant thing in such sort of questions if any index is there if any report is there if any ranking is there who prepares who publishes who prepares who makes it united nations development program prepares human development index and who remained on top and what was the rank of our country that is quite significant for you and i am about to tell you that india's rank was 134 134th out of 193 nations here three are written and you need to know the names of all switzerland remained on top human development index see human development is something which is actually quite important here in these countries so switzerland remained on top norway on the second and the third one is iceland all the three are significant first one is supremely significant india's rank 134th is equally important united nations development program prepares it even more significant so human development index by undp world's third largest economy it has got changed earlier it was japan after the announcement of recession in japan germany took over so germany came out to be the third largest economy as it got changed that is why the question is significant for you germany has become the world's third largest economy 
That is it. The next question is non-aligned movement. 19th number is non-aligned movement. Yes. NAM summit took place. That is what I meant. So NAM summit was happening, uh, was taking place for the 19th time. And when I speak like that, Kampala, Uganda is the place where it took place. Kampala, Uganda is the place where 19th numbers, numbers, NAM summit took place. And the theme was deepening cooperation for shared global affluence. Affluence when somebody is rich. So we are saying we are sharing the richness, we are sharing the uh, affluence or opulence. So that is what uh, you know, it means. Keeping this theme in mind that we are sharing the opulence, the wealth, the affluence, the richness of people, deepening cooperation for shared global affluence. That was the theme. They are sharing the affluence indirectly. That is what they had in mind. 19th numbers, NAM summit took place in Uganda. And if you wish to know the exact place, it is Kampala. I am going to repeat everything for you. The title was International News. Repetition is always intentional. I do it intentionally. I can read them and actually, you know, keep moving ahead. But I don't do that. I actually wait for you to learn all these questions. You can comment in the comment section and tell me how many questions you could learn. Please try to retain something. Please try to make notes. If you cannot, our website is there on which PDFs are available. On some nominal charge, you can pay and you can actually take them. But if you wish to join us, all the teachers are going to help you in all possible manners. Believe me, we have English medium batches also for our South Indian and Northeast students. And we have, we do have bilingual sessions like Hindi medium sessions also. You can dial the numbers below. Executives are going to help you. You can go to our website online.vidyaguru.in. You can purchase the course of your choice from there also if you don't wish to converse with anybody. This is India in focus. And post that, we came to international news. Why international news? This international news is actually talking about World Stage, World Global Summit 24, which took place in Dubai. The theme was shaping future governments because it has to do something with governments only because it was the government summit. Human Development Index by United Nations Development Program. India is ranked 134th out of 193 nations. You can see that first one was Switzerland, Norway and Iceland uh, subsequently. World's third largest economy, Germany and not Japan now. 19 numbers NAM summit took place in Uganda, Kampala, Uganda with the theme of deepening cooperation for the shared global affluence. Let's get going with the next set of questions. And the next one is latest appointments. You can see the pictures here. That is how you can relate. There's a possibility you may have seen these people before. And if you have, you can, you know, uh, after looking at them, you can relate, you know, with them easily and you will be able to keep their names in your brains forever. Latest appointments. Let's see who's getting appointed here. SC means scheduled cast here, right? National Commission, Chairman, National Commission for scheduled cast. Scheduled cast. So I'm saying Chairman, National Commission for scheduled cast. Kishore. Makwana is the name of the person who is there on the screen and he has actually become chairman of National Commission for Scheduled Cast, Kishore Makwana. Pakistan's Prime Minister, he, is, he has actually become the Prime Minister once again. I should speak like that. His name is Shahbaz Sharif. So Shahbaz Sharif from Muslim Pakistan Muslim League. Shahbaz Sharif from Pakistan Muslim League. And he has actually become the Prime Minister once again of Pakistan. Pakistan's president. His name is Asaf Ali Zardari and he is from Pakistan People's Pakistan People's uh, uh, Rest you can read it yourself. Pakistan President Asif Ali Zardari. Pakistan President Asif Ali Zardari. And uh, see, popularly it is called he's from PPP because everybody knows the name here. That is how they related. You've seen what was happening in Haryana. Khattar, uh, Mr. Khattar is now no longer the Chief Minister of Haryana, if you, for your information. Guys, somebody else who has become the Chief Minister, 11th number Chief Minister of Haryana, his name is Nayab Singh Saini, his picture is also there on the screen. So Nayab Singh Saini has become Haryana's Chief Minister. The next question is, 
chairman and managing director of IRCTC. See, everybody books tickets, you know, for the train. You may have done that in the past or somebody in your family does that. So everybody wants to know who's the chairman of IRCTC. Even if you don't wish to, you have to. Because you have your exam and that exam can ask you such a question. Sanjay Kumar Jain is the name of the fellow who has become CMD of IRCTC. Let's revise all the questions. Probably the revision helps. Chairman, National Commission for Scheduled Cast, Kishore Makwana, Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif, Pakistan's President Nasif Ali Zardari, Haryana's 11th Chief Minister Nayab Singh Saini, IRCTC's CMD Sanjay Kumar Jain. Let's move ahead. Now, like those students who are not preparing for banking exams can take a break of a few minutes because these questions are ex exclusively for those kids who are preparing for banking exams. Banking and Finance News, MV Rao is the new chairman of IBA. First of all, you must know something. It is that Indian Banks Association is there. When I speak, try not to miss anything because when I speak, it is quite important. At times while speaking, I use a few words, a few numbers and that even becomes, that's not there on the board at times. It is significant. IBA, Indian Banks Association, you must understand it is something huge. The kind of organization we are referring to, a person who becomes the chairman of IBA need to be needed to be somebody like who holds some rank already and that person who is at great stature, that person is going to be the chairman of IBA and that is what we are showing you. IBA's chairman is somebody who is basically the CEO and managing director of Central Bank of India already. He holds that sort of reputation, he holds that sort of rank already and that is why he was given the charge of chairman of being the chairman of IBA also. Is it? Yes. Because that person needs to be somebody in the industry. That is why such a charge can be given to that person. I'll repeat. MV Rao is the new chairman of Indian Banks Association. He is the MD and CEO of Central Bank of India. If they give you this name MV Rao, they may ask you the detail about him, his background. His background is this on the screen and that you have to disclose in the exam. That is what you have to disclose. That is what you have to write in the examination. For using local currencies in bilateral trade, RBI signs an MOU with uh, Bank Indonesia. See, Bank of Indonesia is there. You must understand something. Like when Bank of Indonesia is there, when we deal with other nations in dollars, are we not promoting dollars only? But if we can actually uh, trade locally in local currencies, the exchange of the currencies take place, our currency also gets some motivation. That is what they are, they are doing. RBI is signing an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, an MOU. And this MOU is between Bank of Indonesia and RBI. And why they are doing it? Bank Indonesia and why RBI is doing it? Because they wish to trade in local currencies. That is what I wanted to tell you. Portal to claim unclaimed projects, unclaimed deposit, unclaimed deposits. That is Udgam. Even Udgam has some full form. You can see that unclaimed deposit is this only. UD is the unclaimed deposit. And when we actually refer to GAM, it is gateway to access for information. Udgam is unclaimed deposit gateway. Why gateway? It's a portal gateway to access information to access information. So it does not start with I. Information's M has been taken up and that is how it was made a meaningful word in Hindi that is Udgam. Unclaimed, you know, deposits are there in the banks. <coughs> <coughs> they lie there. Nobody claims them. So banks have come up with, you know, some portal. RBI has come up with some portal. So that portal for unclaimed bonus is Udgam. And that Udgam, Udgam, you can actually fill forms over there. You can claim the unclaimed bonuses if you have any. Unclaimed deposit. Unclaimed deposit. Gateway to access information is the full form of Udgam. Even that you have to learn. Merger of Aditya 
Birla Capital with Aditya Birla Finance. Please understand that such sort of mergers do take place. It is Aditya Birla with Aditya Birla, and that is how it is going to be easier for you. So Aditya Birla Capital is merging with Aditya Birla Finance for many reasons. They do so. In this pay wear, pay wear you can wear a ring, you can wear a band, you can wear a watch or mobile phone. You can just wear it. You need not carry a wallet. You need not carry. Um, cards or anything like that because it is completely contactless. You can see that. By that you can make the payment also. Wearable, wearable by Indus Indian Bank. See the name tells you the story. It is Indus Pay Wear. The name Indus will tell you that it is Indus Indian Bank's initiator. That is why Indus Pay Wear. You can wear it. You can wear it. You can wear it. That is why Indus Pay Wear. And I'm saying it is a wearable sort of thing which is completely contactless. And contactless payment that way that you need not carry your wallet, you need not carry your cards. It is wearable by Indus Indian Bank. So I'm going to repeat. M V Rao is the new chairman of I B A. He is the central bank's M D and C E O already for using local currencies. Bank of Indonesia and R B I signed an M O U. Udgam is the portal for unclaimed deposits. Merger of Aditya Birla Capital with Aditya Birla Finance and Indus Pay Wear by Indus Indian Bank. Let's start the next set of questions. It is important days and dates, and the first day, which is on your screen, it is National Productivity Day. Yes, but you have to observe one thing below which I have written National Productivity Week also, and it starts from the day National Productivity Day only. National Productivity Day is observed on twelfth of February, and the week starts from twelfth of February only, and it goes up to eighteenth of February. I'll repeat. National Productivity Day is observed on twelfth of February. They had some theme in mind that I'll discuss in a while. Productivity Week started from twelfth till eighteenth. It remained on. Week does not actually mean seven days. Collection of days cannot be called anything else. That is why they call it National Productivity Week. It was celebrated from twelfth to eighteenth. So at times it is seven days. At times it is five days. Four days does not mean anything at all. So don't keep counting like week. It is not a week, ma'am. What are you teaching? Twelfth February productivity day, productivity week from twelfth to eighteenth of February. And I was saying theme was everything is artificial intelligence these days. So AI productivity engine for economic growth. AI productivity engine for economic growth. International Women's Day invest in women accelerate speed it up accelerate progress if you invest in more women women accelerate progress they will accelerate pro progress that is what it means and that is how you can learn it 8th march is international women's day everybody knows that but this year's theme was invest in women accelerate progress that is what you have to learn World Water Day. It is there in uh, NCERT also. So you have been studying such a thing during your school time. It is during your school time you started learning it. World Water Day, twenty second of March. It is observed like that. Water for Peace is the theme for this year. The easier one. Water for Peace. World Consumer Rights Day. World Consumer Rights Day is observed on fifteenth of March, and the theme was. Fair and responsible AI for consumers again. AI once again. Fair and responsible artificial in intelligence for consumers also. On consumer rights, eh? see something had to be made. So World Consumer Rights Day. Eh? It is also associated with AI, 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 AI. Let's revise all these questions. Important days and dates. As you must be seeing, why twelfth February is there? This session is for March. At times, I forget. I find important days later on as well. So I try to add those important days because I cannot make the complete session on February once again. World Productivity Day, twelfth of February. The week is was observed from twelfth February to eighteenth February. The theme was AI, 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 AI productivity engine for economic growth. That was the theme. International Women's Day theme was invest in women, accelerate progress. World Water Day, twenty second of March. Water for Peace was the theme. Consumer Rights Day, fifteenth March. The theme was fair and responsible AI for consumers. Let's go ahead. <clears throat> okay, you may have seen these awards, Academy Awards, Oscars. Everything was given to Oppenheimer. No, everybody speaks like that because they received approximately seven awards, as far as I know. 
so seven academy awards seven oscars for oppenheimer so the movie was even that great sort of so everybody see there were some people who were getting bored but some of them found it very very cool sort of very intelligent sort of movie in which einstein was actually you know shown robert downey junior was also playing some role i did not find it that interesting or that worthy of oscar but he also received an oscar you can see that here so we'll be beginning with oppenheimer no no we'll be beginning with academy awards now and the best picture was obviously oppenheimer you may have seen the producer on the stage she was receiving it so best picture oppenheimer best actress emma stone for poor things emma stone for poor things best actress best actor had to be killian murphy he is not cillian murphy he is killian murphy irish killian murphy for oppenheimer very very well made movie and he acted so well best actor killian murphy best director christopher nolan so christopher nolan for oppenheimer again and and there in the lower you know question you can see best supporting actor robert downey jr in oppenheimer like for oppenheimer only and when you move up best international film the zone of interest is from britain see that is even significant please please that is even significant best international film zone of interest from britain best supporting actress day why enjoy if you have seen this girl this you know lady you may have you know felt quite happy she was also very very happy so divine joy joy randolph is the name of the lady for holdovers she received it i am going to repeat oppenheimer performed quite well in oscars received around 7 oscars like for cinematography and what not christopher nolan best director best actor killian murphy that is what i try to re you know call and best picture oppenheimer of course and when you look at the actress emma stone for poor things best supporting actor robert downey jr for oppenheimer again best supporting actress devine joy randolph for holdovers the important one was best director christopher nolan i have told you this is the thing that you have to learn extra best international film the zone of interest from britain because it was the international you know film the zone of interest let's move ahead see the most important things are here if you are still watching you are the student who's bothered of you know his or her studies i really want you to watch the entire session that is how you'll actually take back 50 to 60 important questions and believe me for the entire week you know you are keep on studying watching other videos and trying to gain information these pointers are going to be beneficial because i've actually selected them i have actually got them here in front of you straight away so that you need not actually get into long passages and try to derive try to take out more information out of it straight away these topics these points are going to be there in your exam have faith in me keep watching it straight news cm jan arogya yojana people have started imitating these days now you can see tripura's government came up with some insurance health insurance on the uh, lines of arogya ayushman arogya yojana as you can recall jan arogya yojana so the, on the world, on the lines of ayushman yojana which is also a public health insurance scheme it is uh, exactly the same sort of for the state it is by tripura's government cm jan arogya yojana universal health insurance of 5 lakh to for the people of tripura first northeastern state first northeastern state with 100% 100% saturation of har ghar jal under jal jeevan mission and that is arunachal pradesh you can see that on your screen see if any state is there like you've seen goa every buddy in goa is receiving water from the tap that means the water availability is at their places only they need not go at you know at far flung places they need not go fetch water from far, far away places that is what i meant they get water they receive water from the government straight away and they get it at their places only that is what we are doing it here it is the first northeastern state who could do so so first northeastern state with 100% saturation of har ghar jal under jal jeevan mission arunachal pradesh indira gandhi pyari behna sukh samman nidhi nidhi means money nidhi means uh, money that is what we mean and it is indira that is why some 
Congress ruled uh, state, Himachal Pradesh is doing it. 1500 is quite high because you can see the lower question. Here in Odisha, Madhu Babu pension scheme for the elderly is there where they provide such low sort of pension and in which the increment of 500 is given now it's not that actually cool but you know they if they provide actually such sort of meager uh, you can say pension to elderly although they try to they they are supposed to get more money because most of the people are dependent on government pensions too they don't have any other medium or media to actually basically you know have money so Indira Gandhi Pyari Baina Sukh Samman Nidhi Yojana is from HP, Himachal Pradesh, where they'll be giving women 1.5k monthly, 1500 rupees monthly. At least it is way better than other governments. So 18 to 60 years women can receive this money, can receive this money in Himachal Pradesh. 500 high under Madhu Babu Pension Scheme. Madhu Babu Pension Scheme is like from Odisha only and 500 has already been increased and it is from Odisha, they can ask you such a question. I'll make you revise all that. CM Jana Arugya Yojana, Universal Health Insurance Scheme of 5 lakh in Tripura. First Northeastern state with 100% saturation of Hargal Jal Yojana, Jal, under Jal Jeevan Mission, is from Arunachal Pradesh. Indra Gandhi Pyari Baina Sukh Samman Nidhi Yojana is from HP. 1500 monthly pension will be given to women from the age of 18 to 60 years. 500 high under Madhu Babu Pension Yojana is from Odisha. So with that, we have come to an end of the session. If you've liked it, do press the like button. I would appreciate that and do comment in the section, in the comment section that you like the place you are watching this session from. Thank you so much for watching.